Chief Pilot for Mid-Continent Instruments and Avionics and True Blue Power. And today, we're going to be calibrating the heading with our MD-302 and MD-32 magnetometer. We're going to get the SAM turned on, and to get into the configuration mode, we're going to make sure that we push and hold the selector knob. And by doing that, it will tell you it's continue to hold, it's entering the configuration menu. And once you see the splash screen, you can verify the software version, how many hours are on the unit. Once you're in here, anytime you want to calibrate heading, altitude, or airspeed, you'd go to calibrate. So scroll down, push the button, and then we'll scroll down to calibrate heading. First thing it'll ask for is your inclination angle. And the inclination angle is different depending on where you're located around the world. That's because magnetic north isn't actually near true north. It's a little bit off. So we have to set in an offset. Uh, magnetic north is kind of down through the earth where we are here. Find inclination angle, check out the installation manual on flysam.com. There's a link to the NOAA website in the heading calibration section. There, you'll be able to put in your location information to find latitude and longitude and calculate your inclination. You can also visit the British Geological Survey website. They have the World Magnetic Model Calculator and map. You can easily scroll to the location and pinpoint where your heading calibration is taking place to find inclination. So we're going to put in this offset, and where we are is about 65.4 zero. And then we're going to put in the orientation and the orientation is how the magnetometer is installed. Is it flat? Is it on its side? And there are pictures in the installation manual to tell you exactly uh, what orientation it is in relation to the ground. So we're orientation number two. And then you're going to turn to the first heading, which is 360, and it's going to step you through 360, 90, 180, and 270. So we'll just get oriented here right on 360. We are doing this on a compass rose. Generally, a compass rose is going to be set up to be away from uh, buildings, away from anything that could kind of interrupt or uh, distract the sensor. The uh, magnetometer is basically just a magnetic sensor, and we take that raw data and we calculate it into an algorithm to display it as a heading. It's a great sensor that we find has, has no drift on it, and we're able to calibrate out a lot of interference. It is still susceptible to things like ferrous metal, uh, MI, electric, static, that might be near it, so all that needs to be considered when installing the magnetometer. Okay, we're going to 090, we're at 090, proceed, yes. Okay, now we're going to go to 180. Okay, proceed. Okay, going to 270. Now we have the green dots, and they're going to be pretty close to the lines, which is good. And then the final calculation will make any adjustments uh, to the offsets that it needs. And once it's done calculating, it'll put the yellow dots and line up fairly close to the green ones. One of the most important parts of this to finish off is to always accept changes, and that stores calibration in the unit. So let's come back around to north and see close we are to our primary there. There you go. That's dead on. Six zero matches. Matches with the uh, whiskey compass. So, looks good.